Um, so now I can insert my MOV file, which is going to be on top of the white layer. So just drag it in, and here it is. Now, click Effect, Keying, and Luma Key. Now where it says the threshold, bring that up. You need to um, just make this smaller now. It's a very quick um, piece of footage. It is very, very quick indeed. As you can see, you need it to be about... I, I have it about a 12 usually, and that that is what it will look like on the first frame. And if I just scroll it along, it comes out like that. So we make it a bit bigger. Right, so now, on this bit, this is when the blood splat is going to appear. So, now you insert the blood splat picture, and that must be on top of the MOV file as well. And we're going to do the same effect as what we just did on that video, on that um, piece of footage. But except on key type, make sure it's key out brighter. And now we'll just bring our threshold up a bit. As you can see, that's what it will look like. Like that. So this is where the blood is going to splat to. So it would splat there. And now what I could do. Now what I'm just going to do is shrink the file a bit more to fit it into the timeline and the head exploding part. And if you right click on it on the layer on the layer down here. No, I mean where is it? Um, mode. You can have classic color burn like that, but that doesn't look too good. Um, color, you can change the all of it um, like that. You can have just experiment really. You could, but up for now, I'm just going to have. Where is it? Hmm, what's that one? No, I don't want that. Linear burn, is it? Can't find it now. No, I'll have linear dodge, like that. And as you can see, it's pretty see through. You can see through it. And what I want to do is just. Um, if I insert now an ellipsy tool, just the ellipsy tool, and go over it like that. And here where it says mask, just go down and um, mask expansion, keyframe that. So now hit page down and just make this a bit bigger, like that. So then it gradually builds up. And once more. Okay, so now I can just copy this. So control C, control V, and I'm just going to bring it over to wait there a sec. So that's where it'd explode to. Bring that there. Bring this one back a bit. And now I'm just going to rotate this, just like that, and this time it can just be a bit bigger, alright I'm just going to show you it now, so watch it. That looks pretty cool, now file export and I'm just going to export as AVI you and did I turn up the opacity I forgot 
Um, yeah, as you can see, it's see-through. You can feather it out a bit if you want. Doesn't really matter too much. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> you, you could feather out the um, layer. Doesn't really matter to be honest, but it does always look nice if you feather it out a bit. Like that. Alright, now file, export, AVI, OK, over, overwrite that. We'll just let it hurry up. It should go fairly quickly depending on the amount. And now After Effects, watch this video and preview it. So that was basically it. That's just a basic head explosion tutorial in Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and there will be many more for Adobe After Effects and other Adobe products. Um, so check them out and check out my site at itech.co.nr that will be in the description along with all these files and I will see you next time. Till then.